We are now at Enkerem, which is such a beautiful neighborhood uh, um, next to the place that Mary met Elizabeth. Uh, this is the birthplace of uh, John the Baptist. And we are entering to Notre Dame de Sion, which is a monastery and a guest house. Then let's do that. Hello, beautiful garden. There's a wonderful story about uh, nunnery. Can I say nunnery? It's a nunnery. Yeah, a monastery. Yeah, monastery, but I think it's only for men. A nunnery is a no. monastery for women, right, isn't it? Right, right. Then uh, the first thing that you see is beautiful garden with a lot of biblical trees, but not only. And. Uh, we are we are in the in the compound of the monastery of uh, the Sisters of Zion that was established at 1861. Yeah, that place. This, this in place Karim, yes. here entirely. So it's one big compound surrounded with walls. There is uh, the old monastery and school for the uh, uh, Catholic uh, Lebanese girls that were brought here. But not only, yes. Uh, Oh wow! Years look, ago. Look, look, yeah, it's a beautiful. It's a building. beautiful. Yeah. So this was the school where they were, and of course we see the uh, part of the church we're going to enter. Wow! It's and then such there a beautiful other place. And other functions in this era because the place where a lot of people were living. Okay. All right. So we go into the yeah. church. So today it's um, there is a monastery here with or nunnery with. Uh, uh, a few, few nuns, nuns that are apart from the public, so more contemplating and doing their work here in the garden and uh, and the guest house. So there is a, a very modest, beautiful guest house here as well. You can see the courtyard where they eat. Wow, it's this beautiful. Is, this is where breakfast or not sure about. I dinner. will be happy to eat breakfast there. No, this is really really cool, but very plain and simple. Very plain and simple. Which is amazing. The church is right here. So if you want to go yes, in. Yes, yes. Yeah. So we got the church, so no hats. It's a hat. Catholic church, but it's very... Simple. It's a simple church. Simple and some, some modern uh, elements. But Can we actually say that it's simple because the owner was a Jew converted into Christianity mm -hmm. and it reminds us a synagogue so. in a way? No. 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 I think it's because of this order. Sisters of Zion is very feminine, very plain and simple. They've been working with people, needy people. So it's simple and beautiful. Yeah. And I can actually talk about a few things here. It looks like, in a way, like a Gothic hmm. church, but. Um, those so are the fourteen stations. stations. Across, they start over there on the right hand side. Yeah, yeah. Now I know what you mean. That it's modern, but not all the modern it's things are modern, beautiful. Modern, yeah. Very um, minimalist. Yeah, but it maybe it's actually suits for children because um, it looks like very naive. Yeah, and also it's for believers that probably don't need a lot of uh, vis visual. All right, can be. Look at, and it uh, continues right over yes, there. Yes, at the yeah. other side. And I know that at the apps, oops, we can find two, two figures. Yeah. One of them is Moses. And, oh, look at the books here. That's I know. very interesting. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah well, I will do that. Uh, one of them is Moses, the other one will be Elijah. And what is the connection between those two? The book of Malachi actually talks about um, the idea that the Masach will come uh, after, um, um, of, after Elijah. Elijah must appear before the Messiah, but at the same time they say that you must obey the law of Moses, but it reminds me the place that I came I visit yesterday, and that is the uh, Transfiguration Mount. Mm -hmm. both yeah, both of them appear together. And this is amazing. This is really beautiful. I it this is. is the nuns that did this. 
you see the, the books. I think uh, knowledge education is actually carrying the light. Yeah. It's carrying the faith. I think. Let's see, let's see. Let's see how many candles. Thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I knew that it's going to be twelve. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, another beautiful thing to see here. The icon. The icon, a Greek Orthodox icon. Yes, I, lo I love that church. Simple, very, very strong in a very way. Powerful. Very powerful, yes. Agree. Can you tell me a little bit about Ratisbon, uh, a Jewish guy from France, became yeah. to be a Christian? Yeah, sure. Um, Ratisbon. Alfonso Latisbon is the younger brother of a um, bourgeois educated uh -huh. Jewish family mm -hmm. from uh, Strasbourg, Strasbourg, France. Uh, it's um, northeast of France, so it is not far away from borders with Germany. Mm -hmm. And his brother converted to Christianity. And, uh, before him, before, before from, him, yeah. he was the first. And then Alphonse Latisbon, uh, that was a little bit um, opposed. This had a revelation of the Virgin Mary uh, while he was holding a, um, a like a coin, a a coin a, like a, a for luck, yeah, for luck charm, charm, special, right. special spiritual charm with a vision of Mary on it, and he had a vision of her. He saw her, and she had sent him uh, to. Um, to the Holy Land. Mm -hmm. so this is mid 19th century in France. So after this revelation, very powerful spiritual experience of Ratisman, he came to the Holy Land, Israel, 19th century, and he managed to buy uh, three pieces of land in the Holy Land. One would in be Jerusalem. Here, in Jerusalem. Yeah. One uh, here in uh, En Kerem, the John the Baptist village. So this is where we're walking now. The other one was in the old city, very close to um, station number one and two of the Via Dolorosa. And uh, the third one is in, uh, uh, in Jerusalem, new city, um, center city. This is this, his house and it's closed. Yeah, it's closed. Because it's, it's, it's a new museum. Yeah, it's a small museum. Yeah. No, no. Just it's a small museum. And you can see the things that... He, uh, he was very simple. Very I mean, simple, yeah. very plain. This is where he lived and this is where he died. And, 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 and in front of him, yeah. when he, he, the only thing that he asked is that when he will go out, he will see Mary in front of him. Right. Then there's a small chapel. Can we go to the small yeah, chapel? Yeah. You, yeah, sure. You can go? You yes. mean that you can stay? So, so. Oh, <laughs> that's what I, no, it's not the plan that I have in my house. So anyway, uh, after he's uh, buying those uh, pieces of land, and they are he and his brother um, are building monasteries and uh, schools and uh, boarding schools for orphanage uh, girls, Christian girls from Lebanon, and um, school for boys to teach them a profession. Yeah, but uh, we must talk about those poor girls because they suffer. Because in a way, the Druze in, 19, in 1860, uh, well, how should I say it? They didn't like them. In yeah, it's a massacre. Yeah. yeah. So these the girls wow. were refugees from the massacre in Lebanon, and they were brought here, educated here. And as you look, how beautiful this is. It is beautiful. Yeah, Magnificat. Magnificat, and because that's yeah. What, 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 because, because of Magnificat, of course, yeah. is the song and blessing of pregnant Mary carrying Jesus while she's meeting her cousin Elizabeth not far away from here. And That's the most important thing, not far away from here. Not far away from here. I mean, it's really the view, the view. Across, the, across the hill. We, we can see it even, even actually wrote about it. He said that I live so close to it. I'm so lucky. Yeah. Wow, it's look at a water system or pool. Yeah, we'll see it better from ah, Okay, here. but look at the view of the Judean mountains. To meditate here. 
It's one thing that I will be happy to do. It's really a pool. Very, very peaceful and beautiful here. Is it agriculture pool or it's yeah. like a real pool? Well, there are uh, a system of water systems All right. here. To survive. That uh, some of it had collapsed, so now it's all built up like this. Mm -hmm. um, but this is how they would collect water because the spring of Enkerem, uh, Mary Spring, is yeah. uh, not far away, but it's, it's not nice there anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some they, water they, uh, they, they have their own home. source of water. Yeah. And I cannot jump into that pool in summertime. Wow, it's mm. deep. No, it, you it's can very see that deep it's. And big and there's oh, water there's even. There. A little bit of water there. Green water, yeah. Yeah, but the plants doesn't mind about it. Okay. They don't mind about it. Yeah. So with a simple, today, with a simple pumping system, they can, you know, pump out the water and irrigate the garden here. Beautiful. Then they do have a lovely garden, and I must say that there's no rain. I mean, yeah. Um, yeah. The end of, we are in the end of October without mm -hmm. rain. So and yes. this is uh, one of the old um, boarding schools and the place where the, the Christian orphan girls from Lebanon were placed in the mid-19th century. And look how it really looks like a fortress. It is Very a fortress. Well protected yes. Because, uh, this area here is uh, also, you know, uh, more more Muslim Arab. Yeah, when, they, when he built it, uh, the majority century. were Muslims here. Yeah, yeah, right. I'm not sure that they accepted... Uh, Christians here, at least according to what I know about the churches here. So it's beautiful. Let's go to the cemetery and then we have yeah. a good view of also the, <gasps> the other, other side. side. They actually yeah. choose the best place, and I think when Retispon said I would need to buy a place and I need to have God must lead me for here, and then we saw uh, a rainbow uh, above that place, yes. Yeah. Mm. All right, you can see here the visitation church, the lower one. With, with, with a pointed tower. Yes, and above it. Above it is the, the Russian church. It's the Russian church uh, that uh, Elizabeth Fyodorova had built yes. also at the end of 19th century. Beautiful. It was unfinished because of the Russian Revolution, because mm -hmm. she was murdered in 1918 and never got here to finish it. So this was finished in the mid the first decade of the 20, 21st century, uh, like just 15 now. years yeah. ago, yeah. yeah, it was finished. And, and, and must visit it, because I didn't visit it for at least 20 years. And this is one of the hospitals, Adassa Hospital. But look how beautiful is the view. Gosh, what can I say? I love that place. Yeah, look at the garden. Yeah, here. yeah, I saw it. it. So this is the private area of, of, of the nuns, okay, and you see this beautiful fruit garden, and mm -hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if most of what we have here is the seven species of the agriculture of the Holy Land. I'm sure, I'm because sure. Because I can see the fig, I can see the pomegranate, pomegranate, pomegranate I see the figs, olives. olives. Um, this is probably Shaked, the almond. Almond, which is me, I'm um, Shaked. So we're missing a few, but... I don't want to tell you who's actually guiding you. Because she wants to be as modest as she can, but her name is Tal, T-A-L, T-A-L, Tal, Megid. And I will leave her little at the description. Then you can call her. She can guide you in Jerusalem, all over Israel, actually. Yes. And she's so beautiful. She's an amazing lady. She's running away from the camera. She is an amazing lady, and she... She's gonna be a grandmother soon. No. How do you know that? Ah, daughter. Did you talk daughter. With my son recently. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, she... My son was married true on May. Oh, uh, that's all right. Last May, and uh, he just turned thirty, by the way. Few. Ah, oh, Mazel ago. Tov. Yeah. Another water system. There's another water system. Wow. And look at the it is. Look, look at this. Ah, we yeah, yeah, for the bucket. Bring up uh, water. Yeah, lovely. What can I tell you? I really love that place. This is a very, very spiritual spot. Um, yes, that's why I say meditation, meditation, meditation. 
I know that some of you are now saying then, be quiet, Sachi. <laughs> Let us meditate a little bit. Well, they can mute me next time they Yes, mute, mute it. <laughs> First they can listen. Mute me, yeah. yeah. They know what's going on and then they can just <laughs> watch it again. Oh, that's me. Enjoy. I cannot talk. Oh, wow, Bougainvillea. I love Bougainvillea. And I love the sun in my eyes. Is that one of the nuns? This is the... I think so. But she would probably not want us to take a photo of her. Then I won't. Right, but she's right there hanging her laundry. Yeah. With her shorts. Yes, this is one of the nuns. I love cemeteries. Cemetery. And I'm sure that you will find the tomb of Ratisbon himself, mainly because he wanted to be to do that uh, to be um, to do that uh, coming in a mi mild way, quite well. And the name Ratisbon will be difficult to find, mm. but remember what he likes to see when he goes out of his house, Mary. And this is his tomb. And you can see the word Mary here and Mary there. He, by the way, after he converted, mm -hmm. after the vision, mm -hmm. he had added her name to his name. Ah. His name was actually uh, Alphonse Marie Ratisbon. Okay. Um, yeah. Then... And this, this is the image of, of uh, the Virgin Mary as he saw it in the church in when France he, when, when he was not convinced to uh, convert you can see her suddenly she she appeared in front of him she pe appeared in front of him with her hands like wide open to the sides with the palm of her hands facing forward and a light beam of light coming out of them and yeah you see the yeah she's and, and stepping on she's the stepping serpent on. of course yeah. uh, and you can see the word and the snake just like Eve, they were sinless, but she decided to keep it like that. Such a beautiful place. But mm -hmm. in that cemetery, you can find so many other nuns mm -hmm. and monks who yeah. were part of the organization. But not only, not only that. If you will see a Hebrew name, mm -hmm. and there are at least three or four names like that, like Sophia, it means that, that one, mm -hmm. and for example here, it means that we are talking mm -hmm. about, I don't want to destroy it, Jewish ladies that converted to Christianity here and there. And some of the family is arriving once a year and they're adding one more stone to the tombstone. This is a Jewish tradition. Uh, another thing that you can see that there are no feminine names here because it's like one big family of Russia's bone. And somewhere here, there's a tomb of a child, 10 years old. And uh, if you will see a, a tomb, then usually the names are on the tomb. If you will see two names, it means that there's no more place in there. For, for example, here, they, um, they, uh, Buried two nuns together here, and the sarcophagus, which is not sarcophagus, it's more like a bone collector, a Jewish one. In Osiri, when a Jew died at the ancient time, let's say Jesus' time, and um, they used to take the bones out, to put it in a small box like that, and then to um, bury someone else instead. And that's why when Joseph of Arimathea gave Jesus his own tomb, he, he gave him a tomb that no one used before. Here's the child. Here's the child. Then the story... So he's, he's actually ah. eight years old. Yes, eight years old, true. Uh, yeah. uh, oh, uh, John uh, John Jacob, yeah, true. It's it's um, a Netherlands yeah, sure. family. We had four children. And they it came to you. They've been here for a few years. They actually adopted uh, four more children. Some of them Orthodox. Some of them Catholic. Some of them Arabic. 
and their child died in accident in 1969. The family is now back in Holland. But it's beautiful. Oh, that's the name of God. Mm -hmm. That's that's the name of God. God is my flag. My flag, or yes. My oh, my miracle. Oh, my miracle. Miracle as well. Such an amazing tour. Tal, I love you. <laughs> I love you too. Tal. Hey. I do. And I didn't see Tal for like, I don't know. I think five months. So yes, five it's a long months. time. Yeah. But we were guarding each other from... True, uh, true, true. Well, from the distance. True. Oh, we actually met in Tel Aviv. When? We met in Tel Aviv. We met twice. One time on the street. No, one time is... I know that, yeah. And then we went to... Um, whoa, I'm sorry. When you, when your mom died... Two months I, ago. Two months ago, we came... Yes, you're right. To... What's the... the for the Shiva. For the Shiva. There's a tradition that after... A Jewish person died, and the family is uh, sitting for seven days in their yes. in their house and so accepting to show, to show our con condolen con condolences. Yeah. yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, but that it doesn't count because you right. know you came for like half an hour together with lots of people. Yeah. Now, if you watch that video, well, I'm sure that you liked it. Then. Uh, what about um, subscribing my channel? And at the description, you will find so many ways to talk to me, to contact me. And um, because we're not working almost two years, um, just like you asked me, I added a link for buy me a coffee. And if you want to support, only if you want to support, I will do it happily. And then you can ask me to light a candle for you in the church or uh, to put a note, a message to God at the Western Wall, the Whaley Wall. Um, thank you very much for being with me. And if you want it or not, you're part of my family now. Mm. Then see you, bye bye.